this is Tracy. I'm working on a house remodel right now. We're in the design phase and moving forward. What we're going to do here, this is SketchUp. Um, we're going to pull out a wall in the middle and a wall here, add in this sort of tower and extend our garage. It's going to fix a bunch of problems. Um, you probably played with SketchUp before, so I modeled this up in SketchUp. And I removed the roof and a few different things to make it a little easier because we're going to try to put this in the AR kit. I'm going to show you and explain some of the complexities to it. So you probably already know how to import uh, a basic model, like a cup or a saucer or a spaceship to, to, uh, uh, to ARKit, which is fine. But this is going to make it a little bit easier to actually do something like remodeling or house architecture. So what I want you to note here, and this is a little hard to see, but there's a blue line here, a red line, and a green line. These are your, this is your, the corner of your model. What's going to end up being really important is you want to put that in the middle of where you want to kind of start. That's going to be your bootstrap thing. That took me a really long time to figure that out. Super important. So to actually move your model in SketchUp, it's a lot harder to do in AR kit. Exactly where you want, orientate it how you like. I put a guy here, he's six feet tall, that also helps to calibrate. Those two things alone are going to be incredibly uh, useful and save you a ton of time. So I'm going to go into Xcode beta. This is Xcode 9. And uh, I've already imported the, uh, the DAE model, and then I've converted it to SCN, which is pretty easy and straightforward. And now you can see the model you know, behaves and reacts as you might expect. Now, there's one big thing here that I found was sort of glossed over, which is hard to see if you come in a little close here. Um, when you import your SCN model and get it in finally, there's ways to do that, you're going to go down here. You're going to open this little drawer here, and you're going to click on the SketchUp or whatever your model name is, and that selects everything. Not very obvious, but what you need to do is you need to change this to minus 90. This is the Euler X position. That rotates your model by 90 degrees because it comes out wrong. The other thing, and you don't have to worry about the position because if you've already put your green, red, blue axis right where you want it, that's fine. Otherwise, you're going to spend a lot of time on that. Um, also mentioned elsewhere, delete whatever camera. There's a little camera thing. Just go ahead and delete that. The final thing is the scale. Now, the scale, it should be 111 because this is exporting exactly in the right meters and feet. I don't know why it doesn't seem to work. I don't know if that's a bug in the beta or whatever, but I had to play around, so I had to make it uh, 3%. Okay, so now we're going to actually go ahead and, and, and do this. So I'm doing it wirelessly. Um, obscure the password. Doing this wirelessly, um, which is a new thing in, in Xcode, so you just hit the play build button. It'll go ahead and um, build all the assets and copy it over to the phone. And that takes about 15 seconds or so. I'm using a free signing key, so I don't have to pay for a developer asset, uh, a developer key, but it signs just for this phone, so I've already paired them, which is really nice. Okay, so now it's copying all the different assets the different things. This is based off of the Apple thing while we're waiting. The Apple um, example, so you, you, where you can place the candle or the cup or the vase of flowers. So what I've done is extended it and added SketchUp and you can sort of see some of these assets here. Candle, chair, cup, lamp, uh, and then our SketchUp model and vase. Okay, so now it's launching on the phone. Second. Meanwhile, let's walk, let's walk through the house. So this is the home office on the top level. And we're going to head over here because this is where our man basically was. Our man was basically right around here, and I'm going to calibrate on the sink, okay? Because the sink is the same in the model and in real life. So what I do is you hit the plus button, just like normal, and I've got SketchUp here. So I'll go ahead and hit SketchUp. And now it puts a model in. It's probably... There we go. All right, ready? Okay, so it's saying initializing AR session, or just said, and then tracking normal. Find a surface to place an object. So since this is a big whole house kind of thing, it's different than those, these little ones, I'm gonna go ahead and try to place it right on the floor. And actually, I'm gonna try to place it this way, because I believe that's what my orientation is. So I'm gonna place it on the floor, add the SketchUp model. And here's our, our virtual guy, but we can see the orientation is a little off. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to try to spin around and get, you can rotate with two fingers and get the sink to the right place. 
And then I'm going to come down to the floor and try to translate the model down a little bit lower. Okay, so our guy is to my left, the sink is here. Move it over just a little bit more. Try to get the window kind of lined up. Now we're pretty calibrated. That's the sink here. That's the window. And if I start looking around, I see our guy right here. And I see what's the new space. So now, and I'm trying not to move too, too quickly because each every time you move, it's tracking in real space new planes. And this will make more sense in a second. I'll walk over here. I'll put this in here. See if I can make this work. And now, can we just slide that into the bucket? Hopefully, this kind of works without making people too nauseous. Okay. So, we'll see how this looks. You can see the virtual and real windows, roughly. Let's get my hand out of the way here. And this is the new entryway. There's marks. Uh, let's see if you can fit, like, there's tape marks on the floor that correspond roughly to the new virtual walls. And if we look up, I'm just going to grab this for a second. We should be able to see the top of the tower. We're sort of in the tower right now. Very cool. And so again, here's our heptagon. That's what they call this, seven-sided. The entry of the garage will actually be a different side here. So this will actually be a wall. So we're going to walk right through a wall. We're in the garage. Let's see over a car, a new car around over here and yeah so there will be a, another spot for a car over here which doesn't exist right now so I'm just backing up my driveway and I'm trying to get the screen to have enough shade there we go to see the house you can kind of see the house so you can sort of see the real house there virtual house, kind of working, I mean visually, the model's pretty good. Let's go back in the house, I'm going to show you something really cool. So right here, right there is the corner of the island, the new island's going to move a little bit. The oven's going to move over. This isn't the cool part, by the way. And we're going to open up the space and be able to see across there, which we can't see because there's this big wall in the way. We're also going to put in a booth here, get rid of this washer dryer, and it'll be a nice big wide open aisle and we'll be able to see the piano. So I'm going to come around the wall, back through the house, and here's our virtual new uh, furniture. You can see the, uh, they come over here, there's going to be a window kind of over the door, the current door, that's right here, that's the door. And we're going to have, we're going to just hold this for a second, this virtual beam, that should be right in the middle, it's always a little, can be a little off, it's hard to get the scale perfect, but you get the sense, this big beam will be carrying the weight of the roof. And this wall, this red wall behind us will be gone. It'll be an open staircase. It's a staircase over here, which you can kind of see here. Again, it's a little off, but you get the rough idea. I'm going to show you something super cool. So that's our real piano and our virtual piano. And this is our patio doors and deck. We can now there we go. We can now see what the view is like because we have a really nice view of San Francisco right over there, but we're making the deck extend out a little bit. And I've been really worried that that new railing and the deck extension that's going about seven feet out will obscure the view or could obscure the view. 
but we can see or get a rough idea, which is kind of what we're even thinking with the, the remodeling, that it probably will be okay. And in fact, even that bench, I'm now sitting in our virtual new couch. Uh, I'm sitting down and that actually seems pretty reasonable. You're going to um, extend a new window on the right over here, which will be over the staircase. I'm going to shoot back inside the house and then this will be the view back in. So there'll be this sort of tower here, entryway. We'll be able to see the kitchen, see some stools and everything. And that's our existing windows. And it's pretty darn neat. So not bad for one day of hacking. I got to hand it to uh, Apple and the amazing folks who did this AR kit. Still a little buggy, but not too bad. Just take a while to try to figure out how to get in a model. That was the hardest part, because everything else is, is putting small models in. Put back in. This will be the new entryway, the new view. Um, people will get to see, you know, there's some view now, but this will be a, a wider expanse once you get sort of through the tower and sort of see. Um, the model's slipping a little, obviously, but you get the rough idea. That's, that's kind of part of the uh, patio. We only see half now, but the other half will be to the left, and you can see around this wall that's going to go. And yeah. Um, I just also wanted to mention that um, I'll put all the source code on GitHub, or it's already there, but I'll put a link in the description as well as a link to the model. So the nice thing is what you can do is you can just pull the whole repo, you can clone or fork it, and you can just try to make sure at least that works and sort of see what I'm doing and talking about. Um, again, the, the hardest thing really is getting the X, Y, Z and the scaling right. So that's why, you know, I, I made SketchUp like basically the bottom of his shoes be the cube, like the X, Y, Z axis starting point and put him in because I'm shooting just a hair over eye level right now. Um, so I'm about his height. And, um, and we're pretty close. I've tried different values. I can't get it quite right, but it's, it's really enough to, to be really helpful and to sort of get a sense of that view and how things are going to look. So um, I've also done some experiments with Google Cardboard um, for full VR, which is also really helpful, but I just thought this would be a really cool application for ARKit, and I haven't seen a whole lot of people walk through models. So yeah, if you, um, if you know of any or find some good ones, which I'm sure you have, um, shoot, shoot some comments. Um, let me know what you think, and uh, of course, happy AR!